Dorota Palicka International Nail Artisan Educator here and today we are going to do a slightly different uh, tutorial. It is going to be on a set of the stiletto nails. Have a preview of them in here. Yeah, great set for a nice photo shoot and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial and you will learn quite a lot as well. But um, at the same time, I would like to review some lighting for you as well. So uh, this is the light which I have been using um, before for most of our tutorials. And um, as you can see it, guys, it is um, short arm. The only stuff which really bothers me about this lamp was I couldn't move it like the only way you could move it was uh, this way. So I was always missing a little bit of the light. And uh, I show you like, I mean, it wasn't too bad, but the light was coming straight. So it was very narrow. Uh, quite often we was missing a light uh, on the sides. You could still um, put the strength of it like lower or brighter. But right now I'm going to test it those new lighting. And it's a BenQ light, uh, which is actually awesome because of the shape of it. So you can see it with this shape, the light is going at the wider angle. And I'm going to show you that. So uh, just with the touch, you can uh, press it on and the light comes up all the way down to the wider angle, which I love it. You've got also the button where you can change the um, color of the light. So you can see it like as much yellow and here now, uh, warmer light. And then you can have it really, really uh, white, um, uh, nice color light. And I prefer this light. Um, like uh, as a nail technician, the lighting is really important for us because uh, you don't want to put too much strength into your eyes. And that might cause some migraines as well. And I definitely suffer from them if they are, uh, if they are, um, the light is wrong. Uh, so I hope you will be able also to see the difference uh, at the lighting uh, when we'll be recording this tutorial for the stiletto nails. Um, I show you that again so you can see it how nice and wide angle uh, we've got in here. But anyway, let's start this tutorial. <laughs> so I've got my nail extensions removed to show you the uh, stiletto nails. First of all, we are going to dehydrate it with the blue scrub just before I start filing. Gosh, it feels so weird having no nail. And then using a, a nail file, we are going to shorten the free edge. Like I like it as short as possible so the growth doesn't uh, show up really soon. And there is um, shine on the natural nail plate, so we need to remove it. Like make sure you give it nice scratches to it. At the end, I still have got a tiny bit of the gel left. I never remove it completely because I don't want to damage my natural nails because we have to prep them again just before we apply the product. So uh, I'm doing it now. Okay, so scratches on the natural nail plate. And then we are going to uh, push back the cuticles and sort out the cuticles. So pushing back the cuticles. It's funny because I thought I'm not going to use this e-file uh, a lot, but actually I like it because there's no cable on it. Uh, and I use it more often than I thought uh, I will be using it. Uh, much more comfier. Okay, so just a slow settings and now we are going to tidy up the cuticles. So one side. And for a change I'm using the flame bead. Clean it up. And then put back into the reverse. I'm going to put it faster. I don't have lots of cuticles, so it's just a little cleanup. To be honest, I've got more skin here on the nail fold. Uh, than I do on the cuticle, so I'm just cleaning this nail fold. And then remove the dust. Okay, check for any more shiny places. And that's my nail ready for the form application. We are going to use those sculpting forms. 
And for my nail shape, because of those white nail folds, I need to trim the form. So I'm just rolling it in between the fingers, like roll it in. Close the first wings. Like it is really important how you close the form. Uh, we need to make sure we uh, close it nice and straight. And then I'm going to trim it. Now I want to use the full length of the form for this uh, extensions because we want them nice and long. So I'm just trimming the form at this place. Check how it's fitting in. I actually need to trim it a little bit more. And then apply it in. The reason for trimming this form is I want the form to go really into a nice pinched shape. And if I wouldn't trim it, I wouldn't be able to bend the form as much as I want it. Okay, so closing into nice stiletto shape. I do really take my time because like when we're doing a short extension, it's not as matter how you close the form, but when we're using a, doing an extension in such a long shape, it is really important that you've got a good form application through the entire uh, form that there is no bends and everything looks nice. Okay, I want it the punch to be really extreme. And then once I'm happy, I can close the form. Okay, so that's my form applied in. And now we can do use an extra nail prep to dehydrate the nail plate. Wait for it to dry and then an universal air bond. Universal air bond and then the light rose sculpting gel. So, when we're building such as long nail extensions, um, we need much more product, like uh, two layers might be not enough. So, I'm just removing excess of the product from my brush and then apply it at really nice and thin through the entire nail plate. Okay, nice and thin, cover the entire nail plate. Then pick up another scoop and start building the skeleton of the nail. Right down to the end. Like right to the end of the form. They are some helping line how to build the stiletto nail and I just following those lines. Okay, then the longer the nails, the harder it is to do it. Okay, so I have built it up the skeleton of my nail. And you can see it because I took so long the gel starts to run. So just clean all that and cook it in. So I'm going to cure it in 30 seconds. 
Okay, and in the meantime, we are going to take a pinching clamp because we will give an extra pinch to the snail. So a couple seconds longer. And then pinch it. There you can see it because I took so long, the gel did run a little bit. But I'm applying a pinching clamp because I want to give it a nice pinch to the snail. If you don't have a pinching clamp, I'm actually going to show you as well. You could use the tweezer or a pinching tool and just squish it. The only problem with it is the gel kind of springs back, uh, so you wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't hold like this. It will spring back. That's why I like the pinching clamp, because they can cure inside the lamp and keep the shape, the pinched shape of the nail. Pinching never should be sore. Okay, so pinch it and cook it another 30 seconds to finish the full cure. And then we will be able to build up the apex. Um, because it is quite long, Neil, I might actually change the position of the pinching clamp to go on the bottom as well, a little bit more, just so I've got a really extreme pinch. Okay, so this place is pinched and then I wanted it to be more pinched here as well. And then we can build up our apex. Okay, so the shape has changed already. The, the stiletto nail is much more narrow. And now I can apply thin scoop of the product, go very close to the cuticle, through the entire length of the nail, and then pick up a huge scoop for the apex, like really big. Apply it only in the middle. The gel is like a water in here, like it's always really warm in this room. So right in the middle only, and then run through the entire extension. Just like this, that's enough. Like, and then just quickly touch up one side, other side, and you better off cook it now before it starts running more. Okay, so that's my shape. I will have some filing to do in here, but I'm happy with the top. Cook it in. So once it cures 30 seconds, I'm going to remove the form and pinch it from underneath as well. I might actually even don't need any more product. Uh, don't try to push it on two layers like you could easily do three layers. Uh, it is such a long uh, extensions that doing in it Three layers is absolutely fine. Okay, so that's 30 seconds gone. I can pull the nail form down. I don't need it anymore. And you can see it like it's quite nice shape from the top. I will just have some filing on the side walls. So I'm giving an extra pinch from the bottom like so it's nice and narrow and do the final 30 seconds cure. Okay, using the UV cleanser, we are going to remove the inhibition layer. Oh, that's so nice and narrow, I love it. I really love it. So clean the snail properly. And because it's so long, I'm going to clean it twice and then we can file the shape. Okay, so first of all, we need to get rid of this really big bulk of the product in here. And I'm using 100 grit now, so that's a 100 by 180 grit file, and I'm filing 100, uh, 100 grit. Okay, other side. Don't file too much in one place, just so you don't overfile it. And I wanted it to be really extreme shape. Okay. 
Okay, then we are going to blend around the cuticle area. And now I can file it more on the sides. So already start looking much better. Because we are going to apply the gel polish over it as well, I want it to be nice and thin. They aren't wearable nails, like, uh, I mean, they would be if I would shorten them, there would be enough product on them. So when I shorten them, uh, they will be a really good structure. For a photo shoot, I like to go a, a little bit more extreme than like, you know, I wasn't wearing them as sharp at the end. Like, look, we are getting really, really pointy on them. So I'm checking this place because that was the place where I have touched it with the product, but it looks good actually. We have cleaned it nice. I still need to blend it more around the cuticle area because I don't want to be able to see it where the extensions are starting there. Okay, now we are going to take a buffer and buff it so I will know where else I need to file it but as you can see it guys it starts looking nicer and the buffer I'm using is a hundred by 180 grit as well oh that's so pretty actually see once we take those buffer Things looks much much nicer oh wow look guys at this so so nice okay let's let's uh, be really fussy and give it a little bit more buff and then we will be able to apply the black gel polish over those beauty so I'm just going to check it the underneath as well Perfect the end. Okay, I think we should stop it because it's nice. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, so clean the dust and let's paint it. Okay, so I'm really cleaning the dust properly using a so beautiful, oh gosh. So really nice and narrow and like really nice paint and looks great. Okay, we are going to use the 183, which is a black ink. So I'm peeling my nail folds down and we are going to paint it black.
Okay, so just painted the entire nail in black. Just love my nail folds. <laughs> And then once I'm happy, I'm going, oh, I'm not happy. It's such a long nail that it's actually take a long time to polish it. Okay, and then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to cure it. It is going to be a 60 seconds cure and then the top coat and then I can show you the final look of what we have created today. So something a little bit different. And uh, actually at the end of the video, we will put some pictures as well, which we have took with those extreme nails, because uh, I think they are some super cool ones. <laughs> and then the top coat. Let me know what other, other shapes you would like to see it, because uh, once the winter months hits in, like I'm hoping, um, Usually February is the quietest time for us, so I'm hoping I will have a more time for some recording guys for you. And then we could do maybe like an, on each, uh, each new a different shape. I think that will be really cool as well. Okay, so once it's cooked, eight, seven, six, we are going to apply the top coat. So I'm just applying the top coat. And then I will have to do them on all of the nails. Okay, again, because the nail is so long, it takes a little bit longer for the top coat application. Dust. That's it. Okay, so once I'm happy, I am going to cook it. Okay, so just a couple seconds longer. I'm going to clean this uh, dust. Actually, work like we should always clean the dust before we painting. Um, as you could see, it. I was struggling applying the top coat because there was dust particles. And they fly all the time. I can see them like flying there as well. I'm going to use the cuticle bit just to clean some part. So very low settings. And I'm just going to clean it. Actually not with this bit. We've got a nice one which is spike and I actually really like it. Like if things like this happen and it's nice to use the spike because it's very sharp at the end. So put it on the lower settings. And now I'm just going to clean this new fold. You have to be very slow and very careful to don't damage the gel polish, that's it. And that's much nicer and cleaner look. I could also do it here as well, but that will just come off with the hand wash. <laughs> and I show you the final look of this new, which we have built it in there. So we've got a really long stiletto new. I love it. Like I think it's so, so nice. Stiletto nails are always nice. What do you think, guys? Oh, wow. Cuticle oil in. And I like it how pinched it, it is, like really nice and, and uh, narrow look. Okay, sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.